Welcome back to my channel, here for another video. Today I will show you how I create work plans, paperwork, professionally in DL8 without any external software. So you will have the perfect package to get started with. First we're gonna cover the basic stuff, then we're gonna move on from there. Well then, create the stage, add some light, and set up four camera presets. This way I will be able to switch between camera modes quickly and consistently. After I cover that up, I go into map mode and by clicking on the screenshot button I can just capture any of those angles quickly. Front isometric, front 2D, side 2D and the plane 2D. In addition, I can also add the name and the address of the device to the actual image and a quick legend view of quantities on the bottom left corner of the image. That will be all for the basics. Now let's take it to a higher level. I'll go back to the room mode and import the set of tools I create especially for that purpose, ACX Toolbox. These tools will upgrade your plans and the overall experience of creating them. It is efficiently built, does not take unnecessary resources from the software, and each element is controlled individually. Looks nice, right? Yeah, well, that's a special font. To get started, I usually choose a high position on the list just to keep everything clean. Then I import my toolbox. Here they are, let's start working. First thing first, I choose a color for them and change their name. I can choose any color and give each one a different name, but for this video they will be the same. Plus, once I import them into the software, they are already on their own layer. Now, let me just move them out of the way a bit by positioning the layer. That looks like a nice location, now just confirm it by pressing the send to object button. Alright, looks like a progress, let's move on. First view, front 2D, camera selected. What I know is that the front of the stage is 8 meters. So I go and select the right tool, duplicate it by Ctrl D and move it to the location I want. In this case, it suits me better that the number is below the line, so I will lower it down a bit. Great! Now I will select the unit of measures, which is meters. I will also duplicate them and pass it next to the number, plus, aesthetically, I want the unit to be slightly smaller than the number, so I'll resize them as well. Cool, now let's do the height. It's equal to 5, so the same process here as well. Take it this, take it now, yeah, number five, and then I just rotated it a bit, and that's it. Okay, after I have the measures, I put all the new tools on a separate layer, and in a moment, you will understand why. I will call it Font Spec. finish that view I need to give it a name so font is the right one so we're gonna select it and move it to the center top of the document or the view as you like and then we're gonna call it a night and finish with that view just remember to pair this one also with the font spec layer so all the tools that related to this view will be on the same layer hmm I have a slight problem on the left I see tools that I don't need to see in this view these are, of course, the global tools that I need to be hidden before I finish. So I just go to the layer list and hide the global tool layer. And as you remember earlier, that's exactly why I separate the global tools from the tools of this view and open another layer called Front Spec. Now I can go and click the snapshot button and that's it. 
have a look at that beauty. So fresh and modern. Awesome. One down, two to go. We are gonna do the side view now. Switch to side view. I start by hiding the layer of the front tools and show the global tools. They need to change their perspective on the side, so I rotate their layer 90 degrees and save it. Here too, move them a little so they don't get in the way. We'll start with the name because it will help me differentiate between the tools easily, you will see later. Move it to the middle. Awesome. For the stage, I know it's 6 meter deep, so let's do it fast. This time I want to add the letter Z as well as painting them all in green, just to make sure the team is focused on the plan. Nice. Moving to the total height, as before that's gonna be 5 meter. Here we're gonna add the letter Y and paint it all in blue. Now let's set the stage height, that's gonna be 1 meter, but you know what, let's make it like 1.2 just for the sake of this tutorial. So we will take the 1, put it in the place, move the number 1 to the side and change its size to 1.2. Now that we have the one there, we need a point, so we go up and grab the point tool from there. Just a little note here that there is a zero with a dot in the same tool. Easy and fast when working with small dimension, you just grab that zero with a point, put it in place and add a number to it. Okay, now let's add that point next to the number, add a two as well, measure and as for the height color code, also paint it in blue. Nice, now remember I start with the name? Well, there's a reason for that. So I go and grab the name, hold shift and mark the last tool that I add. There are all the side tools, so I put them on on their own layer and call it side layer. Easy as that. That's why I start with the name, so I have an anchor point for all the new tools that I will add for that view. To sum that up, we're gonna hide the global tools as before screenshot and voila perfect side view next on the list plain view hide side tools unhide global tools and position them so they are not in the way save it and let's go the name of course plain add it to the middle of the view and start with the stage I know this one is 12 meter, so I take the closest tool to it, which is 10 meter, and resize it to be 12. This tool is in place, now we're gonna add the numbers to it. This time I wanna show this measure by centimeters, so it will be 1200 zero, zero centimeter. For that we'll go and grab the relevant tools and arrange them accordingly. Let's quickly add the size of the stage extension as well, also in centimeters, so it's gonna be on the same design language as the other one. Awesome. Now, to this view, I also wanna add a legend. Well, it is possible to use the basic view that the software offers, but I like to create a more traditional one so the team will have a clear picture. In order to do that, I'll go back to my global tools and grab my chart tools and move it to the position that I like. Resize it, modify it a bit, add a quantity tag, add lines according to the fixture types and quantity that I have, and finally I'm gonna give it a special color code just to it. Once it's ready, I'm going back to the DMX section and start adding fixture one by one to it each type to its own line with its special color coding. Now back to the room to add a quantity. We're gonna put six on each of them because we have six on each type and adjust the size to be a bit more visible, a bit more clear. Of course, it's a personal taste, so you can do whatever you like, whatever you think fit the best. 
I like it like that, so I'm gonna wrap it up by adding the legend tag above the chart. Give it the same color code as the chart and remember to set all the plane tools on the same plane layer. Let's hide the global tools and we are ready to take the snapshot for that view. That's a beautiful shot. And we're done. We have three amazing views ready to ship out to the team, to the field. By the way, here is another quick one. Check out the side ISO. The only thing I'm going to do now is just unhide all the other layers and check out this one. Look how beautiful this one came up. And that's it. This is how you create a professional rider for any project that come up. I added a download link for these tools in the video description. I priced it only at $9, so go for it, download the package, support the channel, help it grow and give you more content like this in the future. Thank you for being here today and see you in the next video.